spot got Chip the tag on me Keep a sword and a dagger in the bag, homie Sipping water from the tap, watch it splash on me I've been working for a change like it's cash only I'm a certified guy, check the tag on me Keep a sword and a dagger in the bag, homie Sipping water from the tap, watch it splash on me Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Verse 2. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Jesus, Jesus the Lord says this world. You know what God said? Don't think you're for this world. This world tells you it's okay for a man to dress like a woman. This world says you're okay for a woman to dress like a man. Christ bless. I'm Officer Michael, we're issued right in Christ. And sisters, come here for a second. We want to show you our truth according to this Bible. Right. We got to show our people we've been led astray by the things of this world. Right. We got to be renewed in our mind and return back to God's laws. Right. You're all God's chosen people. Right. You're beautiful people. Give me Romans chapter 12 and verse uh, 2. We're going to open up with that. Sisters, brothers, God, come close. Check these signs up. Come on your heritage. Come on, you're true, not stunned. God has chosen you, his people. You so called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. This land that we live in today is coming to an end. Right? Right. So we have to get out of here. Right. We gotta be taught these things by the book. Read what you got. The book of right. Romans, chapter 12, verse 2. Right. And be not conformed to this world. You know what God said? Don't be conformed to this world. This world tells you. It's okay for a man to dress like a woman. This world tells you okay for a woman to dress like a man. Right. This world tells you okay to celebrate Easter right. and Christmas right. and Thanksgiving. Right. God says no. Don't be conformed to the ways of this world, black man and black woman. Right. You're right. greater than that. Right. You're God's chosen people. Right. Here's what you got. But be ye transformed. How do you be transformed? You be transformed by the word of God. Right. By keeping his commandments. Keep reading. By the renewing of your mind. How do we renew your mind, brothers and sisters? By hearing the word, by the prophets of God. All right, read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Come on. For thou art a holy people. You hear that, sister? God said you are a holy people. Grab a flower, show you something. Keep reading. Unto the Lord thy God. To the Lord thy God, meaning our God. Read what you got. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. To be a special people Come on. unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You hear that, sister? The Lord our God said he has chosen thee to be a special people above all people on the face of the earth. Right. So when you hear that, what does that tell you, sister? I'm sorry. My name is Mike. What's, what's your name? What's your name? I'm sorry. What's your name? Bernita. Miss Bernita. So when you hear that in the Bible, God said, he chose you above all people on the face of earth. Does that sound like equality to you or it sounds like he has a particular group of people he loves? It sounds like equality to me. It sounds like equality? Yeah. Let's read it again. Read it again real slow for the sister. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. Listen right there. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. We're going to find out who that thee is. Keep reading. To be a special people unto himself above all people. No, equality. Above all people. Everybody in the world are the same. God loves everybody. Above all people that are above the face of the earth. You know what I said, sister, brother, you know what I said? God said he has a chosen people that he loves above all people on the face of the earth. Right. So guess what, sister? You, all, you, you heard John 3.16, right? For he so loved the world, he gave his only God. Said, we're going to show you who God was talking about, all right? We're going to break that down for you. Before you walk away today, we want to show you that you and this are right according to the Bible. Right. Right. These are God's chosen people. Right. Right. Let's go to John chapter 3, verse 16. Right. Yes, sir. You want to know how you know what tribe is? How you know what tribe is? All right, let's go to Numbers. Let's go to Numbers. Numbers chapter 1. We're going to show you right here in the Bible, bro. When we speak, we're going to speak the oracles of God. We're not going to use our words. We're going to teach you coming out of the Bible. Give me Numbers chapter 1, verse 18. Read what you got. Sir, the book of Numbers chapter 1, verse 18. Yeah. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Uh -huh. And they declared their pedigree. So, sir, what's your name, sir? Brother Rump. So, the Bible says, God says, 
our pedigrees were declared by who? Kiri. After their families, by the house of their fathers. Uh, so you know what a pedigree is? Like a, like a type of breed or something like that. A pedigree would be a lineage or a bloodline. Right. So the Bible, the Lord is telling us through the Bible that our bloodline is through the pedigree of our fathers. When you look at a man and a woman, who carries the seed? The man do, right? So the bloodline of who you are is carried through your father. So we're going to do this based on, because we've been, keep in mind, we've been spread through the four corners of the earth. So you may not see everybody up here, but Right here in America, who do you, in America, who do you see yourself at? This is what God calls his people. This is what the world calls his people. Now this right here, this has been changed many a times. Out of all the tribes, this right here has been changed a lot. So what do you see yourself on this side? Your father. So-called African-American. So your father, you, will be from the tribe of Judah. Right. A mighty tribe. The same tribe Christ was from. We're going to show you that in right. the Bible. Give me that in Hebrew. So... You gotta understand when you read in Numbers chapter 1 verse 18, it shows you our lineage comes through the houses of our fathers. Right. Our fathers declare the bloodline because the man carries the seed. Yes. Read what you got. We're gonna show you in the Bible that Christ also came from the tribe of Judah. Read. The book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. Y'all listen, y'all listen to this. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. It is evident what? Our Lord sprang out of Judah. So I gotta ask you something. If something was evident, what does that mean that something is evident? It's evident that you have on a black jacket. It's evident that you have on a baseball cap. So what, is it, what does that mean when it says it's evident that Christ came out of the tribe of So do you know for a fact? Would you say that would be based on the visual? Like how, you, like how you look. Oh yeah. So like how you look, the, the skin color and, and, and the pigment. Of right. So it, is, it said it's evident that he came out of the tribe of Judah. So would, would it be safe to say that Christ liked the people from his tribe? So let's get a description of Christ according to the Bible. Look at these signs over here. Which one? Which one do you think is biblically accurate according to the Bible? This is what they say. This right here. Yeah, the Bible calls him a sodomite. He's a liar. Right. Yeah, this is this is an imposter. Yeah, these are fake. This, this is the biblically. In his voice as the sound of many waters. So Christ is depicted as a so-called black man that you would see today. Right. Christ is a white man called somebody. So if it's evident that he came from the tribe of Judah, what does his people look like? What does his father, his mother look like? They black folk. Right. His brothers and sisters are black people. Right. His tribe are black people. That's what God is telling you. God said for the Bible. He right. sprang from the tribe of Judah. He is black. His people are black. So guess who he's coming back for? His people. Right. And that's right. keeping the commandments of God. That's Give me Luke chapter 1 and verse 68. Luke 1 and 68. So you understand. Yes, sir. So you understand according to the Bible. So now you know your lineage is based off who your father is. And you pointed out you're from the tribe of Judah. And Christ is from that tribe. All right? Read what you got. The book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Read out. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Of what? Of Israel. Read. For he has visited and redeemed his people. The Lord our God, Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah, yes, will come, Christ. visit, and redeem his people that are keeping his commandments. Right. A lot of people say that they believe in the Lord, but what does it mean to believe? Give me that in Sirach. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're going to find out what it really means to believe. Because in our community, we got churches on every corner all around. Yeah. People say they believe. But what does it mean to believe? Verse 24, last verse. The book of Sirach, chapter 32, verse 24. Yeah. He that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandment. What does it mean to take heed? To do the commandment. Read. And he that trusteth in him shall fare never the worse. If you believe in God, you trust in God, you will keep his commandments. Matthew right. chapter 26, verse 6. So remember, sisters, we're God's chosen people. We're the Israelites. Right. And we have to keep God's commandments so we can get out of here. Because right. America is about to be destroyed. Right. 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 This land that you know of will no longer exist. Right. This will be a desolation engulfed in flames that will last forever. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord.